What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles the YouTube channel. Today is Fan Friday. Uh, if you don't know, Fan Friday is where I go on the face page, ask guys, ask you guys, what should I play for Fan Friday? And uh, you give me some suggestions. The deck with the most likes does win. And this week was actually Jurassic Park, aka Talonflame Rampardos. And I actually have a good friend, Noel, who actually played this deck in uh north carolina regional so i hooked him up i said hey noel let me see your list and he hooked me up with a list he actually posted on his twitter supposedly so uh but still thank you noel for the list also we talked about the deck a little bit and uh he said bro that that gives everyone everyone gives anyone anxiety too many coin flips we'll go over the coin flips here in a second um Let's say I told him it's for Fan Friday. He said you're gonna hate yourself playing this, especially if you start Fletchling. Uh, I said, dude, I don't see the point of the deck. Why well, was so hyped? He said Rampart is OKO's Zarks or one shots him. Talonflame can OKO with a band for 180. We'll go over that here in a second. Like I said, uh, the second attack of Rampartos is Takeout, which is old Machamp attack to knock out basic Pokemon. If you have three Stage Twos in play, Stage Super Boost allows Rampos to OKO. Uh, the fire typing picks off wind pods better. Besides that, it's meh. And then he said, um, if I, I asked him would he change anything, he said maybe cut the fletching for random receiver question mark. But then he says it's good to kind of cycle your talent flame, so maybe you don't do that. Uh, so we'll go over this deck here in a second. And like I said, this is really popular when Zark was the best deck. But now Zark's kind of died off, so the deck is probably meh, like Noel said. Uh, so let's let's go over our main one of our main attackers. That's going to be Rampardos. He's got the attack clean hit 60. If he wants to act Pokemon, it's an evolution Pokemon. This attack does 60 more damage, so 120. And that's just going to one shot of Zark, like I said, 240. It also has Wild Crash. If your opponent's act Pokemon is a base Pokemon, it is knocked out. Just immediately just knocked out, which is fantastic. You can easily take some knockouts on Lele's, whatever you want to. Maybe some GX or EX Pokemon if they're just basic. Uh, but our other main guy is going to be this Town Flame. Now, we'll go over how to get Rampart out, out here in a second. You're going to notice there's a Craniodose. I think this is the name of it. I can't really read that. I think it's Craniodose. Uh, there's a Town Flame line in here. Now, you have to play some form of basic. You can't just have all non basic Pokemon, right? Uh, but what we want to do today. Let's start with Talonflame. It has the ability Gale Wings. If this Pokemon is in your hand when you're setting up to play, you may put it face down as your active Pokemon, and it has the attack Arrow Blast, which does 40. You may search it for two cards and put them into your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards, so we're going to guarantee two cards in your hand and be good to go. Uh, there's still two Fleshling. Like I said, you have to at least play one basic in your deck, so the Fleshling can be the one basic, maybe play two. Uh, that way you have multiple uh, Town Flames, because that's the only way we can get them out, is by like rarecating uh, Fleshling into Town Flame. Uh, I also have the Talonflame Break, which is now a fire type. And the good thing about this, like Noel said, is when you become fire type, your fletchling, uh, not your fletching, your fletch lint, or your Talonflame, sorry, could take knockouts and wind plots because now they're fire type. And also you could maybe use Flare Blitz. It does 150, discard all fire to your attached Pokemon. With Choice Band 180, like Noel said. Uh, so you could use a super boost energy. Also, Counter Energy could work as well. Uh, to give you some more damage, so you have Super Boost, and I forgot it plays Counter, so Counter can help you get that, that Arrow Blitz off, and with Craniodos, you have the Fighting Energy, then you can dash Counter Energy, and have that take a Wild Crash deck, which is pretty nice. So let's give you all the Pokemon, no Lele's, nothing like that, pretty cheap deck, I think the hardest card to get is the Talonflame Breaks, but even then they're pretty inexpensive. Uh, two Max Potion, he'll our, our Crani, our, not a Craniodos, our Impardos, because they only need one energy attack, with Max Potion you, you discard the energy, but then you get it back. And here's part of the flipping stuff right here. Uh, so order pad, flip a coin of heads, search your deck for item card, reveal it, put it in your hand, uh, then, shuffle, then put it in your hand. So basically, go any card, put it in your hand, which is really nice. Uh, four pulls of time to reuse any card at discard pile. If we use two of them, which is the point of the deck, is to do that. Uh, four red candy, and with the candy, you can get the uh, the town flame out, like I said, but also you can get your cranny or rampardos out. And the way we're gonna do this is actually with the unidentified fossil. Uh, play this card as a 60 HP basic Pokemon. At any time during your turn, before you attack, you may discard this card for play. This card can't retreat. Uh, so basically, it's like a robo sub. But what you can do is you can rare candy the unidentified fossil into a Rampardos, and that's kind of how we're going to attack today. Is by rare candy the unidentified fossil into Rampardos and actually get our attack off that way, which is pretty neat kind of concept. Uh, you could evolve into like Craniodos, the Craniodos and Rampardos. I think it's Craniodos. I could be wrong and saying the wrong name, and then y'all probably just make fun of me. But whatever. Uh, Super Rod, give back our energy to Pokemon. Two Ultra Ball, which is very interesting. Um, <laughs> we're, we're playing it, I guess. Uh, four I think that's two Ultra Ball. I hope I saw the list correct. Maybe it's kind of small, so I kind of just like 
took a gamble. Uh, before Cynthia, I could have just asked him, right? Could have just asked him with this exact 60, but whatever. Uh, three Guzma, four in, four Sycamore. So just like maximum support count. Three Guzma, it's whatever. Uh, three Choice Ban. I guess it hit some good numbers. I don't know. 150. I guess 150 plus 40 is 190, which knocks out buzzwalls and stuff like that, which is pretty nice. Uh, one Super Boost Synergy card we haven't seen. There's a lot of cards we actually haven't seen today. The Cranium Dose, the, um, the Unidentified Fossil, now the Super Boost Synergy. While this card is attached to a, st this card, while this card is attached to a Stage 2 Pokemon, it provides every type of energy, um, but it only provides one energy at a time. If you have three or more Stage 2 Pokemon to play, it provides every type of energy, but provides four energy at a time, which is really great. You can then activate the Wild Crash attack and start knocking out Pokemon instantly, uh, which is really nice. That's cool. cool, cool thing about this deck because Super Boost, you kind of just get a, a Wild Crash attack whenever you want to. Uh, four Counter Energy and five me Fighting. Now, Josh has got to remember that. Counter energy only works when we're behind the prize cards. Not so much y'all, because I know y'all gonna remember and y'all gonna do fantastic. Me, on the other hand, it's gonna be a different story. So <clears throat> let's click versus. Uh, wait, hold on. Did we make any changes? I don't think we made any changes to it, but we'll save it. We'll save it just in case. Yes, I know. There's, there's an incomplete evolution line. Thank you, Pokemon. I know this. We're good. Let's make sure we're on standard as well, because it's a standard deck. Uh, let's go to Rampardos. I guess I should have named it Jurassic Park, like people call it. Maybe I have it on the top flame. I forgot how I have the name saved. Well, this is embarrassing. There it is. Townflame Rampardos. All right. So, Shocker, haven't played this deck, but we'll figure it out like we always do. So, DMM. Uh, mm, dim. Uh, looks like a Ho-Oh Kiawe deck, maybe? Maybe Volcanion? Now, this could be really good because, you know, we got the takeout attack, which can just one-shot those GXs, um, like the Ho-Oh Volcanians, whatever. So, it could work. So, we won the coin flip. All right. So, we got to hope we start Townflame, right? So, yes. We'll go first. See what we got here. <laughs> oh boy! All right, so we have to say we have to put Town Flame out because we start reflecting and the Town Flame. <laughs> so yeah, we'll put the Town Flame in the active. We can't say no to Mulligan. So like when you start Town Flame, you can always say no to Mulligan because you're like, all right, I, you know, you get it. It says you may. You don't have to. So there's a Sycamore top deck. Hmm. All right, so. It's kind of problematic here because we have puzzle, we got choice. We could sycamore, but then we lose a puzzle. But I kind of want to get a Rampardos out this turn. But then we lose a puzzle. So I'm gonna put a choice in the active. It's still I'm gonna go for sycamore. I, I want to try to get a fossil to excavate. I try to I want to try to get a false an unidentified fossil, and we got one. So we got an unidentified fossil. What do you put it? At? Just right here, I guess. Yep. We'll attach a fighting energy to it, and we'll press done. Alrighty, so we got the turn two right now. Ultra Ball just reflecting, whatever, get the Rampardos out and a rare candy to it. Now the problem here is he's weak to he's resistant to fighting, which is pretty unfortunate. So there's a Max Luxor, Max Luxor, Kiawe coming down, and we're gonna get blown up here. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Stop. My opponent just went ham that turn. Wow. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna lose the game today or something. Uh <laughs> so, Ultra Ball discard a Choice Band of Fleshling. Okay. We'll grab a Rampardos. So, we get the Rare Candy Rampardos. But, will it. Does it really matter right now? I don't think so. I think with this, we want to wait and uh, let him take a knockout, right? And then we can use Takeout to actually knock out a Ho OGX. So, I think that's what I'm going to try to do here. So, I'm going to play in. Get a new hand of six. He also gets a new hand of six as well, which could be scary because if he has a Guzma, we're in trouble. Um, we do hit an Ultra Ball, but we don't have anything else besides that. So we're going to put a Fighter's in the active. We're going to go for the Arrow Blitz. And with Arrow Blitz, I think I'm just going to grab two, uh, not Order Pads, two Unidentified Fossils. All right. So if he takes a Knockout like he should this turn, we can then Guzma knock out the Bench Hell OGX with a Takeout with a Wild Crash to me, which are pretty nice. So Ultra Ball just got two Fighter Gs. There's a... Dawn Wings and a Krosma. Please do not get a Guzma this turn. So that comes down. Fire to that guy. Super Rod. So you could have got Layla for Guzma. And like 100% is going to knock out. So I struck for two. He could have got like an N as well. So a choice band to the bench. Cynthia. All right. So like I said, we're going to be able to do that play where we get Guzma to the bench. Counter energy this guy. Take a knockout. But then he's going to knock out next turn. Hmm, but we have double unidentified fossils, okay. So it goes out of five. We'll set up the Fletchling. 
on our turn. We'll put down identify fossil. We'll put down another unidentified fossil. We'll counter energy. Guzma bring up his ho oh Cinema Repartos and take out for the I mean crash uh, wild crash from the knockout. Sorry, it's not takeout, it's wild crash. So there we go, take a knockout, go down to four price cards. We get a talent flame and a choice man, so no rare candy. Alright, that's what we kind of need is a rare candy. Uh to get another talent flame out, that'd be really nice. So it's our opponent's turn, okay. So another ho GX coming down. Fire to J. He's already wasted two max elixirs. Okay, so Sycamore discarding his hand, drawing seven new cards. Well, I guess he'd have wasted. It's actually really good that he did that. So, if anyone's for the knockout. Now, what I could do here is set up Undentified Fossil and then, like, wait to see where our top deck is. Because we could discard the Undentified Fossil, right? So, I'm going to set up this thing. I think it's a little bit smart of a play. Okay, so under our turn, we get it in. Okay, that's not going to help us. <coughs> um. I'm going to play Cynthia here. I need a new hand. I need a new hand of six. It's not what we wanted. Um, so we'll press... We'll put a counter G on the unidentified fossil of the bitch and just press done. Because if he takes a knockout this turn, we can then rear candy uh, in Pardos. And they can knock out on it. So there's a fire G, that guy. We see the... Oh, invasion. He's going to get the Guzma. Bring up the bench. Take a knockout this turn. There it is. He's going to make sure that counter energy does not work. He's like, hey, buddy, you don't need that counter energy on that guy. I know what that thing does. All right, so there's a Phoenix Bird for the knock. <laughs> just use Phoenix Bird to knock out a unidentified fossil. That's so funny. All right, so instead of Fletchling here, I think it's a little bit better play. Um, Maybe. We'll go. Oh, goodness, this hand is so bad. All right, so in. Uh, we're to pickle here, guys. All right, so. I guess we'll put a counter G on this guy and we'll pass. Um, how do we win this game? I don't know. So Ultra Ball for Lele for Guzma. Yep. Well, the good thing is every time he takes a knock on these, he's not taking a price card. Or is he taking? Has he been taking price cards? He has been taking prize cards. Oh, I, I was mistaken. I thought it was like a robo sub. It's not like a robo sub. Uh oh. So, uh oh. Josh is wrong. I, I said it was like a robo sub, but it's definitely not like a robo sub. Oh man, Goose with the unidentified fossil. Uh oh, we're in trouble now. Yeah, I didn't notice he was taking prize cards. Wow. Okay. All right. So instead of okay, this is really bad. This is really bad. This is really bad for us. All right, so Cynthia here, get a new hand of six. All right, order pads. Don't let me down. I need all three heads. I needed two of the three, so at least have something. Uh, so I gotta, I gotta get an Undefined Fossil, because if I don't, I lose the game, right? Yep, because he can just knock out only Pokemon. Alright, so let's see what he has here. Oh, Flusto Retreat, Invasion, oh goodness, yeah, we, lo we lost this game. Well. Um... Yeah, ain't much else we can say about this game, guys. We end him to one. It's not gonna matter. It's not gonna matter. It's not gonna matter at all. Can we can we discard on the Pokemon to play? Yeah, we can. Yep, that's fine. You have your win, buddy. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> is this a Pokemon? It's a a toucan. What is this happening here? What is going on? That's a Pokemon. Jeez. All right, well, so that's kind of unfortunate. I guess ho oh, ki is a bad deck for Jurassic Park. You know, a fire probably did destroy the dinosaurs, right? Well, the meteors destroyed the dinosaurs, which could technically be fire when, they, like, the meteors hit the earth and, you know, whatever. All right, so we're playing against a fighting deck. Great. Another deck we don't want to play against. We want to hit Zork. Zork's not big anymore. That's the problem. So we lost coin float. Great. Great. Things are going great right now, guys.
Actually, no, I don't want to take him. I think I'm fine with this hand. We got the Town Flame. Oh, we got. Oh, this is actually a really bad hand. Because. We got Sycamore, Guzma. Okay, I think it's fine. Because we can just find energy. Uh, uh, choice Bandage is Sycamore, right? I think it's fine. Yeah, we should be good here. Oh, Mew and Buzzwall. Good old Buzzy Buzz. Buzzwall. I mean, I guess we are resistant to fighting. So that's good in hindsight, right? Uh, I mean, Knuckle Impact Sword is like. Destroys us, right? So there's an in, okay. Um, air blitz that's a knock on immune, that's unfortunate. All right, so we got some stuff. Um, there's an ultra ball, okay. We got we got the, the unidentified fossil. There's a ultra ball discarding rock rough and in. This card's a rock rough for river raid. Is that river? Is this river better? Why would you not play the other ones? Like, they're 100% better because they at least attack for one energy. Maybe he doesn't have resources to get those. My apologies, sir. Maybe you don't have the resources for that. So, put an identified fossil. We'll play Cynthia here. We'll get a new hand of six. Let's see what we find here. Give me something good. Give me something good. Um, So, I'm going to put a fight fighting energy here. Um. And we're gonna go for Arrow Blitz. Okay. With Arrow Blitz, I'm gonna grab. We get Order Pad of him. I'm still gonna grab a Rare Candy. And I kinda wanna grab a Cynthia. How many Goosebumps are Disco Ball? None. We have two in hand and one in deck. Maybe we'll go those two. And another Unidentified Fossil. Yeah, that's good. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. All right, so our opponent's turn. We do have resistance, but like I said, if he gets a rare candy, like if he gets a strong, if he gets a anything here, he like takes a knockout. So Oct if he has a max so sorry. <clears throat> All right, so this hand for four or three, whatever. But when he uses this, if he uses knuckle impact for the knockout, he won't be able to swing again next turn. Oh, he might go absorption this turn and then follow up with knuckle impact. So there's a fighter to that guy. Okay. There's a Max Luxor. Well, that's a knockout. It's a pretty good knockout there, bud. Alright. So, there we go. 1630. Oh, man. 30 HP on this little guy here. So, send uh, this guy. Okay, on our turn. Get a puzzle. So we're gonna identify fossil. I am going to order pad. Tails. Well, ultra ball. Discard Guzman. Guzma. For a. No, no. We need town flame. So we get we get some more town flames in here. So grab a town flame. We will rear candy to town flame. Okay. So we got two stage twos. We could sycamore, but I'm just gonna arrow blitz right now. Uh, it's kind of weird hand for sure, cause we got Puzzle and Cynthia. What do you think is what? Yeah, I'm gonna air blitz for Puzzle and Cynthia. That's what we're gonna get. We're gonna Puzzle and a Cynthia. We could grab just double, but then we don't have anything to really evolve. So I, I want those two. I think we could grab Puzzle and Aaron Pardos. What will the other puzzle get us? Another, another okay, so we get rare candy. Okay, so that's good. Yeah, we'll get these two. We'll get these two. That's fine. That's what we get here. Alright, so our opponent's turn. So I take this second to what we think here. So I'm gonna do next turn is, is dumb puzzle for like either a fighting energy and an under oh no, for a rare candy and an unidentified fossil, we'll get a Ripardos out, and then we can maybe you know, right now our plan is like just set up some arrow blitz plays. So there's a fighting energy active. We're gonna see absorption GX most likely. There's a second more, okay. That's a good card. He's gonna play two max elixirs. Okay. My plan is to try to get multiple super boost Pokemon in play and our abuse super boost to knock out one of these buzz walls. That's definitely what I'm going to try to do um, for sure. He's going to be on price because for a little while, just to let you know. Well, actually, he doesn't. Uh, he has those. He's going to absorb the GX for the knockout. 4, 8, 12, 60, 20, 22, so 200 right now. So, Flowstone, absorption GX for 200. 
Okay, or 210, sorry. Regirock, forgot about him. Uh, set up Tile Flame. On our turn. So we will double puzzle. Okay. To grab a rare candy and an unidentified fossil. Yeah. So we will rare candy into Rampardos. Six. Okay. I was trying to figure out if Talon Flame Break matters. I don't think so. It doesn't change in the math, I'm pretty sure. And we'll second more. Discard our hand, draw 70 cards. All right. So we got the counter energy. We got a Talon Flame. So counter energy active. Put a. Does this matter? Let's see here. If we. If we. 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 plus 60 plus choice is knockout. So we'll, cho we'll choice man here. I'm going to order pad to try to find like another Pokemon. All right. So I'm going to grab another unidentified fossil. We could grab a, f uh, no, I don't think that was card. So yeah, we'll grab an unidentified fossil. Okay. We'll put that guy down. And we will go for an arrow blitz. Alrighty, so there we go, 70. <clears throat> I'm gonna grab a, let's see here. I kinda wanna get like Rampart as Rick Candy and just get double get double these guys out. Yeah, I think it's fine. Alright, so our opponent's turn. I'm gonna draw a card. Uh, cause he has to get this other Boswell powered up, which he might not be able to do, right? Cause he's gonna take a knockout here. He's going out of three. There's another Octo coming down, okay. There's an Ultra Ball, okay. My plan is to get multiple stage twos and just hopefully we can get that super boost energy and just one shot this Buzzwall. It's gonna be very hard though, I'm not gonna lie to you. So this is Lycanroc GX, which is useless because he has no rock roughs on the field, okay. We are gonna take a knockout next turn with this Rampardos, which is really nice. This old squad is gonna get fighting in it. Why would you not attach a fighting energy to the Buzzwall? Very interesting for sure. Are we weak to psychic? We're weak to grass. Alright, make sure Mew doesn't knock us out for some rando reason. There's a strong energy, okay. Is he gonna retreat? We're pretty insane to see, right? So floatstone to the octo. We see a best hand for two. Maybe he's looking for an end to disrupt our hand. I don't know. It's hard to tell. <clears throat> Regardless, we have a knock on this guy. We have counter energy, rare candy, repartos. But man, are we gonna be able to get four guys in play? I don't huh. It's gonna be rough. But at least he's just taking like nine GX knockouts, which is good, right? So there's a knuckle impact for the knockout, okay. 170. Goes out of three. We'll set up Rampardos. Alright, on our turn. We will rare candy into Rampardos. Uh choice span the active. Counter energy the active. Play Sycamore. We're looking for a fletching and the rare candy Rampardos. Well, we got half of the way there, so put down the Fletchling. Um, we'll go for the clean hit for the knockout. Alright, so 90 damage. Go down to four prize cards. We get a Super Rod and a Cynthia. Alrighty. So what we could do is, like, try to two-shot. Oh, it doesn't mean two-shot this guy. But if he, goes for, if he goes for Knuckle Impact here, he can't take a back-to-back -back knockout on Rampardos, right? So Super Rod, he is down, what, Two Max Luxers, though. That's the problem. He's only down two Max Luxer. Uh. <laughs> I think no matter what, we had to send Rampardos in this turn. Oh, man. He's going to knock out go down two. He can then Guzma in. Oh, man. Okay, so Boswell to fighting. Okay. There's a Boswell coming out because of the Brooklyn Hill. We can't counter that. We play no field blower or stadiums. We see a Cynthia gonna shuffle draw six. We gotta hope he doesn't hit any elixirs for like the next two turns. Right? Oh man. What's he got for us? Oh, he doesn't have any energy. Just don't attach energy any energy to Boswell. Please, Pokemon. Just just give me that. Just give me a little hope. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Just one somewhat. Um. Okay. Let's see. So we're going to Super Rod. Show back in two Town Flame and a Fletching. Or two Town Flame and then a Pardos, most likely. Alright. So, Knuckle Impact. So, no energy. Good. 
All right, so set up Rapardos. All right, on our turn. Give me in. Do we in him or not? I don't think so. I actually think in's really bad here. I think I want to draw more cards instead. Because he's got double Octo, right? So double Octo is really not going to matter to us. Serma grab, Rampardos, and double Town Flame. I'm going to play Cynthia. Try to get a new hand of six. Let me get some rare candies. Let me get some rare candy, boys. All right. So we got the, the Order Pad. Yeah, we can't do anything else. So we'll claim here for 90. We don't even two shot it. Oh my god. I mean, I know we didn't two shot I know that. I know that. Okay, so let's see. Oh my goodness. Alright, so let's see here. So choice ban to that guy, okay. Okay, so one thing he could do here, which is really good, if he's got fighting Guzma, he can bring up the fledgling, take a knock on it, and then he can just leave this Rampardos for this Buzzwell to win the game. That's his like ideal situation right now. How many Guzmas has he played? One Guzma. There's a fight energy. Okay, some Ultra Ball. Discard double in. Uh, just for nothing. I'm just trying to thin our deck down. And they play Cynthia. Well, they'll play two Ultra Ball. That's probably really dumb, right? But I'm looking for a counter G. Take a knockout. No! <laughs> if we hit counter, we would have we would have probably won, right? Oh my goodness. I think it's pretty much game, guys. We lift the counter. Oh my goodness. Nice. Right, so fight. Okay, he's gonna like manly power this Boswell as well. Um. Man. Yeah, we got some flexion again. All right, so in our turn, super boost. So I mean, super boost does get us a knockout, but then he has one energy. He wins next turn. Um, what do we do here? Super boost Sycamore. Hope he doesn't have an energy, which is like pretty unrealistic. I mean, hit the rare candy. I mean, we hit max. I mean, would max potion make a difference? There's counter energy, everything like that. So arrow blitz for the knockout. It's pretty much no we win now. We'll grab a town flame and a and a. And we have no puzzles left. Uh, we're gonna have a puzzle in this case we draw the prize cards. Oh, there's three in there. So this is our fourth one. Okay, never mind. We don't have no puzzles. I forgot we played one earlier. Well, there's rare candy fossil against kid. All right, but he's probably got the game right. There's just fight energy and just knuckle impact for the knockout. That was pretty rough. Like I thought we were gonna have a chance, but it turns out we didn't. Choice span. Okay, nice. Fibbler. Okay. Okay. Soda Wudo. Okay. Uh, draws one. Oh, there it goes. Well, that one. Do you think he really drew off the one? You think he was just holding it and just like trying to make like a uh, like a like a just make trying to make it like something. I don't know. So 150 for the knockout. There's game. All right. So we'll go. We'll go. <laughs> Super boost being discarded. Maybe a misplay there somewhere. I don't know. I think I feel like it's a hard matchup, especially man. Both games were like energy accelerated decks, which is not what we're supposed to play against. Just gonna say that both were non -evol evolution decks as well, which makes Rampardos not hit us good numbers or better numbers, good numbers. Hmm. Let's see here. So it begins reading H. We have the advantage for some reason. If they're playing Decidueye, we, we might actually have a chance here. Maybe not, because Rampardos is weak to grass. Okay, press done. Press done. All right, let's see what we got here. What, what new hand do we get here? Okay. 
The one thing Noel said not to do. He said, do not start lone fletchling. Well, y'all got some bad news here, guys. All right, it's Vulpix. Oh, it's, I mean, it's probably definitely, in, like, Decidui. Like, he's going to bridge it for three Rallets. Two Rallets and a Coco. There's an Ultra Ball. Okay. What you grab on the Ultra Ball? Discard the Dark Tricks and a Choice Man. Okay. There's a Lele. Why would you Lele right now? Please put down that Lele. I'm going to Goose it up. Alright, Wonder Tag. You already bridged it, buddy. Hey, whatever, man. I'm just going to Goose it up. Get it stuck in the X spot. Grabs a Sycamore. Interesting. Blend Energy to the active. Not Blend. It is called a um, Unit Energy. Get it right, Josh. So I'm going to Goose my Brick up as a Lele. Put down Fossil Activation Kit. Can I do this guy and pass? Mm. It's a weird hand. This is rare candy decidui. Alright. So Huh. We know this other card in his hand is a Sycamore. He got Baby Nine Tails and something else. Don't want this card Super Boost. So put a Super Boost here in Sycamore. Okay. So this has got to be a Heads here. Just kidding. Just kidding. Whoop. We'll pass. I don't want to max potion this guy off. But he's going to get knocked out anyway. Oh, we should have max potion anyway. He's a double. Dis oh, my goodness. Goodness gracious. Calm down, opponent. He's got double. You should you should have max potion, Josh. You should have max potion. You should have max potion there. You would have probably still lost this game. All right. So what we're coming to, this so deck's not very good. So 20 here. 20 there for the knockout. Maybe, like I said, it should have back potion. Definitely forgot he had double decidui next turn with feather arrows. I'm trying to go cry. There's the aurora beam for the knockout. We'll send it by our guy. What do we top deck? An in. All right, so fighting the active play in. You know what? Whoa. We'll go out in style here. Well, that'll be it for uh, Fan Friday. We're gonna we're gonna identify a fossil, and uh, there we go, guys. There's the game. I like so this deck's not as good, like I said anymore, because Zork is not played anymore. It, it was played, but now it's not played anymore. It was good against Glisspot as well, but now that's just not. They're not the big decks anymore. So that's the unfortunate part. Is Jurassic Park still good? Probably not. Was it ever good? Debatable, but guys, hope you enjoyed this edition of Fan Friday. Sorry, we lost three games, but that's what happens when you play Fan Friday decks. Guys, and shout out to Noel for for first of all playing this at a regionals. Like, I don't know what he was thinking, but hey, thanks Noel for playing the deck at regionals. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you. To, we'll see you in Monday's video. Alrighty, bye.